Welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4. Today we have a fresh disaster save sent in by one of you guys, so I'll leave the address to send your disasters to in the description and in the bio if you want to see more of them. So please stand by has said, I tried to go communist as Britain without decolonizing and it went horribly wrong, lol. Well, it's been a while since I've played the UK, so let's give it a crack. Already it's looking pretty horrible with clearly a civil war going on. So we are on non-historical, so this is going to be absolutely mental, isn't it? And I'm ammo, so I get one crack at this. Brilliant. Let's jump in. Right, so here we are then. Communist Britain. So what are we looking like? Uh, is that the usual leader? It's been a while since I've done communist, so I'm not too sure if that is. But he has no traits, which is brilliant. So we are up against... The true Union of Britain, led by Herbert. Okay, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I love a civil war. I don't think I've ever done a UK civil war. So what we look like, Focus Tree. You're doing Fortify Malta for some reason. You've obviously gone Communist Path. So next, I might do Reach Out Across the Channel and get France. What are France doing? They are communists as well, so that's probably a, a good bet. So let's get rid of that. We don't care about Malta. Why are you fortifying it? What did you do pathwise? So you went reinforce the empire, yeah, so you didn't decolonize. So as far as I'm aware, there is no way of holding on to the colonies as the UK with going communist, so that's your downfall. Uh, anything negative? National spirit-wise, no, that's looking good. Good consumer goods, that's all good. Fine, that's looking fine. What are we doing war-wise? We're in a faction with the SSR and Mexico, and we are up against the Soviet Union. Why are we against the US? Why are we at war with the US? You've shafted me here. Okay, right, first thing, we've got to deal with Britain, though. That is the main thing. So Axes have gone to war. Soviet Union at war. There's a Nordic... The Cooperation Alliance, which is like Romania and France. Export, that's fine. That's fine. Stanley Churchill, he's pointless. Why are you building forts and stuff? That's pointless. Chief of Army, okay, that's all we got. No PP. Okay. Well, we got 24 divisions on the front of the Civil War. 14 divisions going up to Finland. Why have you got half the army going to Finland? We'll get them back. You need them in the UK. We need to win this civil war first. What are we looking at template-wise? We've got 20, 16 new divisions in training, which is good. Stockpile. A lot of artillery just lacking infantry equipment. 18 width artillery and engineers. Seems you've got loads of artillery, I'm going to go my 21 widths. Add some real punch because you have the artillery, which is good. We'll force deploy all the ready and we'll get rid of the other seven. Give us another nine divisions. So we've got two full stacks, which is good. Let's go and give them a field marshal, which you don't have. So we'll just promote a William here. He is our new field marshal. And then we'll get rid of that line. And then we'll just get a joint field line. So we can get all our divisions on there because we need to win the civil war and get our land back. Navy wise, oh, I have no idea what's going on here. Why have you got everyone broken up let's just put them all into one fleet and then when they're back and repaired i'll deal with them in a second let's just get them in there and then hold them production wise we've got 32 factories a lot on guns some on anti-air even though we haven't got anti-air and old anti-air so let's get that up let's get new artillery going as well uh you're making subs apparently but we've got no dockyards because they're all repairing the ships okay let's get the guns down and yeah, we've even got, so let's knock them down a bit. We need some artillery more and some support equipment, mainly artillery. Air-wise, we've got a few fighters, a bit of cast, a bit of tactical bomber. Let's just hold them because we're running out of fuel. They're not going to be doing a lot. Right, the Finland troops are joining. Ah! Why? So they've just joined the Nordic Corporation faction. That's made it instantly harder. Okay, they're in a big faction. Luckily, the states aren't in it, which is good yet. We're lacking steel, so let's go trade some with Germany, because we need that for our guns. I've knocked the anti-air off, because I've decided I don't actually need that. I'd rather have more artillery going and 
support equipment. Our fleet, let's just join all that up. Let's see if we can push them. Let's see how good these true union are. Uh, we're winning. We can push them. That's good news. Let's go and give him the offensive doctrine as well for our new field marshal. Soviet Union has joined as well. That was expected with the war going on. So, who were at war? Well, no, allies with the Axis. French Communion and Britain, we got knocked out. And Soviets, I assume, will join and add to that in a second. But they're probably not in the war with us. Right, there's all our divisions coming in. Let's just change them all to infantry because the tank division is pants. And then we need to knock these out before we get loads of reinforcements. We're missing some guns. We've got loads of support equipment, actually, so let's knock that down. Let's just get our fleet on strike force so we don't get any naval invasions. That's all I really care about. And we'll take the subs off as well and get them out. Right, plan here. We've got to push through and punch through and then grab these space before they can redeploy. Hopefully cut them up and we'll just start encircling some troops. They are actually, French are pouring in now and reinforcing, which is a bit annoying. So that's got two divisions that look crap, so let's push for Nottingham there. We need to punch some holes in and then knock these out quickly. Pin and move, grab the space when we can. Hit Nottingham, hit there, we can encircle. Yeah, two troops encircled, that's a good start. Right, reach out across the channel is pointless actually now, isn't it? Because French are against us. So let's cancel that and we'll go for something like this industry and go towards a new research slot. I didn't actually check your research. Industry is good. That's up to date. Planes are up to date. That's all up to date. Wow, this is not really too much of a disaster. Your research is actually good. Excavation, I don't really want our trade at the moment. I'd rather get new engineers for the entrenchment. But okay, that's not too bad. Let's just knock out these two encircled divisions and then we'll push up again. Any free land that they're not bordering we'll take. Right, we've cut them in half, which is good. If we can take this tile here, we can surround Birmingham and Leicester. That means more troops encircled. Manchester and Liverpool are free, so we'll just walk into them and pin. They are not doing very well at guarding their victory points. 55% they're up to. We'll knock out Wales and then Leeds and Sheffield and that should be it if we push north as well to Carlisle and Newcastle. And Leeds knocked out. Is that going to be it? We might need Glasgow or Cardiff. No, that is it. Union of Britain done and they've given us a load of guns and a load of artillery which we will put to a very good use. And it is all core seals, so that's fine. We do need some manpower though. So my first bit of PP, I need to get extensive conscription going. We'll just push the last bits of French out of Cardiff. Let's start upgrading the Royal Air Force as well. We'll get some fighter cast with some self-sealing tanks. And then we'll get submarine on there. Supermarine, sorry. Get these hurricanes out. Not really hurricanes with cast, but okay. And then we'll set up our naval invasion, our D-Day of communist France that we're fighting as communist Britain. But we'll uh, hit Cherbourg. Axes are getting pummeled by the looks of it. The 4th International, which is ours, isn't looking great either. The Nordic Corporation is looking a chonkier boy. But it's still... It's only Soviet Union and the French Commune. So if we can deal with the French Commune, that'll be good. We'll hit... Hopefully they're all busy on the German border. That war is going to help us, I think. Yeah, no one at home there. So let's quickly get our whole army there. And we'll draw a field line, get that going, and get that on execute quickly. Seeing as we're communists, we'll also use the Liberated Worker Garrison, which I think is pretty good as far as I'm aware. Yeah, right, no one's really organised in France, so let's just grab as much free territory as we can to reduce their industry. Knock them out of breast with a couple of encircled troops, and we'll push south. They've got a few small troops. What are we looking like? Oh, they've got quite a few divisions, but I assume they're all on the German border. So we'll keep going. We will add anti-air now because we have got loads of it into our divisions for some piercing and the anti-air obviously attack. Push nicely into France. I'm not going to go to Belgium because we just need to knock out France. We'll keep pushing where there's free gaps. We'll keep moving. They can keep redeploying around us. Italy are democratic for some reason and they don't want to join our faction which is a bit annoying. But at least we're not at war with them at the moment. Right, Bordeaux's done. We'll sit on the Spanish border because, yeah, Spain we don't have to take out. We'll just stand there and we'll knock the French out. We can go extensive conscription, which is good. I'm going to have to 
halt the attack, I think, because we've split them in half now. We'll sit on the Spanish border, but I need some reinforcements because our, we are very stretched thin. Industry's looking very good, so let's go in. I know we haven't got the manpower, but we will with our new conscription law. So we'll get 24 new divisions, and we need them ASAP because they are starting to mount a defence. As soon as they're ready, I'm just going to get men to the field. I don't care if they're not equipped and not trained. We just want them in the field. Give them a new Tom Moore with the jungle rat you'll do. And get you to the front line. Yeah, we are sort of having to hold now. The, they have a lot of US troops in there as well, which are pushing us. So we'll just have to hold as well as we can. Should be fine. They'll waste all their equipment. We've got all our divisions out now. Loads of equipment, manpower's coming in, just got to hold for a bit. They're taking a lot of casualties, which is nice. We just need a force attack, and they are pushing me back a little bit. We need to win the war, air, the air war, sorry, so we'll go and get some new Spitfires out. Two heavy guns and a cast bomb, and we'll start winning that war. We'll get those pumping out with our nice industry. I haven't got the resource, I realise, so I'm going to have to do what I don't like doing, which is go non-strategic materials, and at least that will cut our aluminium massively. Yeah, 71 negative down to... Oh, positive. They are still pushing, but I think I'm sort of holding now. We're okay. They might split us into one front line again, which will be a bit annoying, but hopefully I can keep just reinforcing these lines. Not got a lot of supply down here. We're getting some fighters out now, so we are contesting the air. That is going to be the key battle. Once we get green air, we'll be able to push nicely, I think, and reinforced. Right, they have stopped pushing. They have pushed me and split me into one line, so let's just get a field marshal order going. If there's some nice gaps, they're lacking equipment there, so let's just see if we can grab some. For it. Maybe, maybe not. Cast, we are getting a bit of cast damage and exchanging better than them, so we will win that war. Let's just see if we can get a few encirclements and knock out some troops. We can push them in certain tiles, which is good. We can push here and get an encirclement. Yeah, there's a few divisions gone. A few little encirclements will do wonders for our plans. If we can push here, they have really not defended Paris now, so if I can surround Paris, which I can... We will hold that order and we'll just keep Paris surrounded so their main supply is cut off from them. And then we will continue pushing up to Dunkirk. Right, I'll take Paris now because I don't think they've got much left. If we take there and Reims, is it, I think, or Reims? That might be them done. We might need a few more provinces, but we don't need too much, I don't think. Oh, no, there we go. And the Soviet Union must have gone as well. I wasn't even paying attention that front. There we go, that is one war done. We can go claim all our land back. Right, peace deal. So, we got quite a bit more of Africa, which is nice. We've got like a, the old... Oh, there's a random bit I didn't claim. But we've got a bit of France, and we have a Spanish puppet as well, which is nice. Got all of our land back, obviously. Mexico's just in it, firing against us for some reason. We've got all the alley, and we've taken Malaya back. So we get the rubber as well, which means we can change back to our good planes and start getting the Royal Air Force good and pumping again. A big thick boy with a lot of planes. Right, we just need the North American faction now, so the states basically. So I think we've got, yeah, Newfoundland still. Is I think that's Newfoundland anyway. And we'll jump into the US there and knock them out. We've also got the Royal Navy back as well off of the false union so we are looking a chonky navy again right we will naval invade boston because they never really guard it and we'll just push on down they've got about 130 troops or so uh, taken a million casualties already and we are only in 41 a couple of troops on boston but not very well equipped so yeah boston's done we'll take that we'll push out and we'll get all our army in and we will push down towards washington Get our air over there. They've got a lot more, but we are contesting massively well. So they'll be soon knocked out of the sky and we'll cast to our heart's content. Right, if I can just push over to Cleveland and then hopefully get a big encirclement. We've got, again, a bit of cast damage. But our tank boy there seems to have punched through. So he can go and close that encirclement. And the rest of these troops can fan out a bit. 
Yeah, there we go. That's technically not in circle, but it is in circle. They can't get out. So if we could take Buffalo in the supply hub, and then we'll pinch this uh, nice encirclement and knock out a good portion of the US Army. Yeah, look at that. That's good 30, 40 divisions or so just wiped out, which is a very nice. So they are looking about 70 divisions, which is good. We've got way more. Let's just get all the army back to the front on 97 and full on push. And we'll just roll the US over now. Roll them over. And our tanks have just tanked on through to Los Angeles. And there goes the US few guns from them thank you very much another faction knocked out and we've got all of the war score so we basically just took most of it we got panama around it we've got the british north american territory so a new puppet and uh yeah i would call this one save so we've got a lot of africa we obviously lost some colonies like the raj we've got malaya back but we didn't get south africa australia new zealand but I think gaining Spain and the US as colonies is probably making up for that. So I think we're in a better better position than we were before. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Good disaster save. Send them in to me if you want me to give a, yours a crack and you want to see more. Subscribe to stay up to date. And as always, thank you to our member for member at the moment. Singular, hopefully some of you guys will join up. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace out.